Even with that sunshine we saw today, it was still pretty chilly outside as you walk out the door. Other areas, though, even just to our north, definitely seeing a bit worse as far as winter weather goes. We still have that low off to our north. Still cycling around. We've seen a couple of those flurries yesterday. May even see a couple tomorrow. But as far as clear skies go, we're pretty good today. Right now, live radar and satellite. We're not even tracking a ton of clouds, a couple of clouds here and there. But we are seeing some sunshine this evening. So beautiful sunset on the horizon for many of us, especially Benton and Poplar Bluff there. We are seeing some color, some sunlight, some blue skies. A couple of those clouds still hanging around, though, of course, thanks to that low pressure temperatures. Pretty chilly as you're walking out the door. We're already dipping down into those 30s. 37 right now for Mount Vernon, Sparta, and Carmi in the 40s. Down towards our southern areas like Union City, Murray, both at 43 right now. 42 for Paducah. Bit warmer in Sykes than at 45, but a lot of us still feeling this chill across the area thanks to that system we've been tracking. We're in the 40s here at home over in Kentucky and Tennessee, also in the 40s. North Carolina a bit warmer in the 50s to our north, dipping down even cooler. Chicago in the 20s along with Cedar Rapids. So we're still kind of somewhere in the middle of all those systems, uh, still tracking some pretty chilly temperatures overnight tonight, dipping to freezing by 6 o'clock. Those clouds still pretty much staying with us along with that breeze, not really knocking down a bit until the next couple of hours. So still a pretty strong breeze right now out of the west southwest and it's chilly too as you walk out the door so today just still tracking those colder temperatures and breezy conditions for our weekend though we'll still see some sunshine hang around with us but it's also still going to be pretty cold outside next week even colder bitter cold temperatures we may see some flurries a couple of the days as well so of course keeping an eye on that but right now fairly calm conditions other than it is just bitter cold outside Temperatures in the 30s for some of us. Those wind chills, though, in the 20s, thanks to that breeze, even with the sunshine we're seeing towards our south down into the 40s, wind chills in the 30s. Overnight tonight, we're going to continue to dip down near freezing by 8 o'clock. Wind chills in the lower 20s. By the early morning hours tomorrow, if you have to get out early, just bundle up. Wind chills down into the teens. Temperatures in the 20s. Those clouds begin to fill in a bit for tomorrow. Could see a couple of those flurries, thanks to that low pressure to our north. North, but for the most part, just tracking those cloudy skies for many of us clearing a bit tomorrow evening and overnight as well. Those clouds aren't keeping us warm temperatures dipping down into the teens. So overall, another pretty chilly weekend ahead of us. Breezy for our Saturday, mostly sunny for Sunday. So at least we do have some sunshine with us. And then, of course, we are nearing the start of winter. It's next to Wednesday and it's going to feel like winter even before that. Tracking that Arctic blast still dipping down from the north and just letting that really cold air fill in in the next couple of days. These aren't even the lows. These are the highs forecasted just for the next week into the 30s and then Thursday really dipping down. That's that Arctic air dipping us into the 20s. Great to have the Storm Track 3 app. We are tracking some flurries in the next couple of days, so fairly quiet this weekend, although breezy tomorrow and chilly temperatures down into the 30s. That flurry chance on Monday and of course keeping an eye on Thursday, still seeing the possibility for some snow showers. So course stay with us on that. It's still a little far out, but it is something to keep your eye on. Then those temperatures dipping down into the 20s and the teens for highs. And we know you'll be keeping your eye on that for us. Oh, always. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Katie. <laughs>